Okay. Camera prints are uh, ready to fly on this point. Actually, I'm going to be using a 1300 milliamps light bulb, not the 2200 ones. Just to try to keep it a little bit lighter on this flight. Um, the CG right now, basically putting my fingers on the wind tips, is as you know, that it's balancing perfect. Uh, the way you want to do it though, on mending flight, you want this nose to drop out a little bit like that, so you will be sure you're a little bit nose heavy. But on this case, I mean, I already know the plane, so I, I can play it a little bit, basically perfectly balanced, which will make it a little bit more pitchy, but it will be all right. And the reason too for the 1300 milliamps lipo is because I don't want it to get too fast right now, because I didn't, I did not brace the wings the right way, and they're actually a little bit flexible, and I don't want to break them on the air. So, let's get them on the air, guys. So. You see, that's you where, where the sea is right now is perfect. Uh, you know, when you're balancing it perfectly on your fingers, uh, you see the float fly by right here. Basically, power is off. Let me, let me do a high speed fly by. Let's see how fast we can get it with a 1300 light. I didn't get it. Yeah, it was hard for me to bring it closer. I have too much control over the ailerons, so it's a little bit tricky. I'm gonna have to reduce my throw. I'm gonna try to bring it close on a flyby. That's full travel radar right, right now. Wait, I can't see. Yeah, he's talking too much. Let me finish down trim and left trim. It's right here. It's disappearing. Okay, I think I'm gonna need to set up dual rates on it. So right now, it's gonna be hard for me to try to bring it close to us. So what I'm gonna do is actually show you how good it can do on, on the slow speed. So I'm gonna keep it slow right now. Uh, let me see, slow it down here, a little closer. Now this one, guys, is 20 ounces. Actually, now it's less than that with the 1300 LiPo. It's a lot less than 20 ounces, probably around 18 or 17 ounces. Uh, the silver one is flying on 28 ounces because, it, you know, it have a, mo a lot more weight because of the silver tape on it and with the 2200 milliamps lipo this, this one right here is fly, flying very graceful right now uh slower speed it's slower oh actually i also have somebody asking me if we can take the microjet uh the microjet from grayson hobby will actually be a good power setup for it too you know uh it will be a lot nicer to fly it's slower like i'm doing it right now and it will be a lot easier to land too you know now we have some kids around here to come to watch uh, as you see, I'm, I'm just flying it around, guys. Just as slow for you. Like I said, I have it too tricky right now. I need to fix my rights on it. It still have a nice speed on it, you know. It's, it's not so bad. But for high speed, you rarely want to brace the wings right. I can't keep it. Uh, I, I have balsa wood on the leading edge. I should have put hard wood on it. Just like I did on the silver one. I'll probably do another video to, to compare both of them together, you know put them side by side and tell you what are the difference on it. But I, I just wanted to get this one on the air so you can see how nice it actually flies. We're just flying it slow around here. Yeah. Okay, my friends, I think I'm gonna get ready to land it. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, pretty soon I'm gonna show you how I did to the the scale look on the silver one i just ha haven't really got time to show you but I'll, I'll make sure to get the video up pretty soon of that too it's actually very simple and very easy to do so i'm gonna go ahead and land it coming this way and you're gonna see how easy this thing lands when it's a lot lighter you know like 17 ounces or so just gonna let it drop over here guys just let it drop so okay my friends uh, thank you for watching i'll get you more information about it pretty soon so see you next fly.